All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? Sam here. Today, we are going to take a quick look at the Honor 70. Actually, I was the first one to do the English hands on review when it's first released in China, but now this is the international version. And I guess now I'm the latest one to review this. <laughs> All right, that's uh, the foam. Moving on, we have a pin and also uh, a case, 16 watts charger. That's the unboxing. When you're moving in different angles, you will see, you can see this kind of diamond pattern. Looks really shiny, I guess. It's pretty, especially in, in a girl's hand. Wow, that's great. Regarding the design, we have the Dino's Mac there. There's no infrared blaster there. Nothing uh, on the left side. And here we have the Type C port speaker and also the SIM card tray. Do a SIM card, do a standby. It's not supporting SD card expansion. And moving to this side is uh, the volume rocker and the parking. That's it. For the camera specs, I will just list on the screen. The first one that support, supports IMX so Sony IMX 800. All right, and there are already tons of reviews about this Honor 70 out there. In this video, I just has one thing, which is the camera. I went out taking many photos with it. The photos are just great on bright sunny days and absolutely sings with excellent color reproduction solid dynamic range and good detail. I also tested that a 50 megapixel arch wide camera. It has a good color consistency as the main. Arch wide is also used for solid macro shots. Here are some night photos. However, the cameras feel less well in low light. The colors aren't rendered accurately, but overall feels okay for the phone in this price range. What I'm impressed with is Honor 70's headline camera feature, which they call SoloCut. It uses the rear cameras to take a wide-angle landscape video of the scene, while allowing you to tap onto the person in the scene, who is then tracked in a separate portrait video. This is displayed on the screen in a small window, so you can make sure they are in the frame. You can switch to somewhere else per way through too. I think this is an interesting feature like when I'm out shooting alone, like I have more angles of myself, or it could be good at children's place or at cakes to follow my daughter while also taking the whole stage. It has good stabilization and I can easily use it as my set camera when shooting some products. All right, so 4K, 30 FPS, that's the highest resolution that uh, Honor 70 supports for its rear camera. As I can see, wow, holy smoke. It's really, really stable. Though I'm walking a little bit shaky, but it's really stable. All right, this is the front camera. It supports up to 1080p, 60 FPS. And this is how, how it looks like. Well, I hope it's good, right? It seems good. For the specs, I will just list them on the screen and you can check them out. To conclude, I think the Honor 70 is a sleek and attractive phone that comes with a strong performance, a good camera and a good battery life. This is one of the better phones in this price range. And if you are interested in this phone, please check out the link in the description. I'm Sammy, I will see you in the next one.